Hey guys, this is Jason Morris with the Facebook group, Real Estate Agents That Really Work. So if you would like, subscribe and uh, or follow me and leave me some feedback down in the comments. So two things to do when they don't sign the listing paperwork with you at the appointment. So let me give you some context here. You went to this appointment. Everything's went great. You sat down at their table. You went through your comps. You went through your net sheet. And for whatever reason, man, they're just not ready to sign the listing paperwork today. Now, guys, we need to accept that sometimes, um, sometimes it's not you they're rejecting. It's the idea that you presented to them in the moment, right? It isn't that they don't want to list with you. It's that they right now is not a good time. Or maybe the husband and wife, maybe they actually would like to discuss some things um, with you before they make, make a choice. Because after all, this is typically the biggest investment somebody has. Um, you know, maybe there's something that's holding them back that they haven't disclosed to you, right? So what I would do is I'd ask what their time frame is. At the end of the appointment, they said, well, we're not ready to sign the listing paperwork right now. Guys, I would leave everything with them. I, I know that there's some coaches out there and some real estate agents. They think that they should take comps, paperwork, everything with them when they leave. Dude, don't do that. Leave it with them. Let them look over it. And then that gives you a reason to follow up the next day, right? Um, but ask them if they have, what kind of time frame are they looking at? Um, ask if they have any additional questions. Guys, a great question to ask is, is why don't you guys want to, what would need to happen so that you guys would be ready today? And man, maybe there's a reservation they've talked about. You, you wouldn't believe how many people don't understand how commissions are paid in the real estate industry, right? We just had that big NAR lawsuit, but there's a lot of people that think that, hey, you know, that $300,000 house and that just say $9,000 in commission has to be paid if the house sells or not. But guys, sometimes we just need to explain to them that if for some reason it doesn't sell, you guys don't owe us any money. We work on, we work on, uh, we get paid for the performance we provide, right? And some people don't really understand that. Some people, some agents out there are asking for six and 12 month listing agreements. And man, that's a big commitment. You know, maybe the time frame's a commitment. And the only way we can know is if we ask questions. But guys, we have to follow up when we leave that appointment. And it's extremely important. These people already know you. They've already met you. Guys, you wouldn't believe how many times I went to listing appointments behind other agents. They had an agent picked out they really liked. And guess what? The reason they didn't end up listing with them is because the agent left, took all their information, they couldn't find the business card. The agent never followed up with them, guys. Follow-up is the key to making a lot of money in any sales business.